Hello viewers, it's Matt Vidpro and welcome back to another video. I know, things are looking weird around here. It's looking different. I'm, I'm like sitting on a couch. This is weird. Uh, this is my friend. His name is um, Bartholomew. That's right. Yeah, I kind of redesigned things a little bit. I set things up a little bit differently. I felt like this might be a little bit more, you know, intimate here a little bit a little bit more intimate when we, we make videos a lot of people probably don't really care about that but i have a feeling that this is going to allow me personally to be more exciting for you guys explain things a little bit better a little bit more relaxed uh than being cramped in front of my desk okay with that addressed let's get into things before we get into the main beefcake of today's video i want to talk to you guys about matt's lemon challenge this is a challenge I have been running with open art for the past week or so, and you can see it ends in four days as of the date that this video is being recorded. Basically, the whole idea behind this challenge is you generate inside of open art's website with Dolly 2 the best lemon generation that you think you can possibly generate. Two winners with the highest votes, and you can see the votes right through here. If you go into the votes category, you can see all the different ones that have been voted. The top two winners here are going to be getting t-shirts with their generation on them as well as 500 credits which equals 5,000 generations here on open arts website with doll e2 and then i personally am going to hand pick a winner as well which will also get the same prize of a t-shirt and 500 credits on open arts website and i think that is a fantastic prize i want to thank open art for doing this with me but the challenge does end in four days so I suggest you guys go generate now while you have the chance, and if you click the special link in the description below, you will get 20 extra generations to generate lemon art for this challenge. All you have to do is sign in with your open art account and you will be given those generations. So yeah, very exciting stuff, folks. There are just so many fantastic generations that have been created thus far. Even in the latest category here, I recommend you guys go to the latest category, start upvoting some of these because there are some fantastic ones that are getting absolutely buried, I think by the avalanche of different lemon generations. This challenge is coming to a close towards the end of this week, so we'll get to it, everyone. Very exciting. So something kind of strange has been going on with Doll E2 that I want to talk about and actually relates to what we had just talked about. It's a little strange, but essentially some websites seem to be getting access to Doll E2. Open Art, which we just talked about, as you guys know, does have access to Doll E2. You can go on Open Art's website and generate Dolly 2 images, and every credit is worth 10 generations, but there's nothing like in painting or out painting, although it might come to the website soon. Either way, I spoke to Open Art about this, and obviously they have directly worked with OpenAI to support this feature of, you know, directly calling to the Dolly 2 API for generations and pulling them back into the website. But that is not the only website that seems to have access to Dolly 2 generations at this moment in time. The most expensive we have right now would be Dolly 2 directly on the website. $15 for 115 credits, about 13 cents per generation. Then we've got Open Art, where right now to get extra generations, you either need to win a contest or invite more people to join the Open Art website. So it's kind of free, but they probably will offer some sort of paid option to purchase credits in the future, although it does seem like it's going to be cheaper than OpenAI. There is this one last website known as PlaygroundAI.com. It's going to be linked down below, and that's what we're talking about today because it's a very interesting website which seemingly offers completely free Dolly 2 access for free, fully free on the website. So as you can see, when you first log on to the website, you're greeted with a pretty nice little interface here. You do have to log in, I'm already logged in, but sign up is completely free. You can log in with your Google account, makes it extra easy. They've got like this rising gallery here. These are like the more popular imagery that you can find. This one has nine likes, nine whole likes. It doesn't take many likes to be popular on this website because it is kind of fresh and hidden. Not a lot of people know about it. In fact, the weird part about this is I tried to search up this website just through Google. I, I typed playgroundai.com and I couldn't even find it in the Google search results. So to get to this, you need either need a direct link or you need to just type playgroundai.com. And you can see we already got a nice little Walter White generation. And when you click on a generation here on the website, we can see the prompts was literally just Walter White. We can see the person who made it, which I believe we can click on with profiles. Yes, we can click on profiles. It tells you the guidance scale, which immediately just tells us it was stable diffusion, but it also tells you the model was in fact stable diffusion, which we can click on as well. And it will give you a link to the Stable Diffusion website, which is really interesting. And it gives you the date and time it was generated. You can copy the prompt or remix it. 
Hint, hint, Stable Diffusion is also available on this website as well as Dolly 2. As you can see, it says at the top here, a place to create and share AI art. There's a My Feed option, shows images from people that you follow. This is looking social media related, kind of similar to open art. I don't think it's as robust as open art is today, but it's certainly very intriguing that it's offering, at least at the moment, completely free at generation. So if we press the create button, we are brought to this portion of the website prompt. What do you want to see? You can use a single word or a full sentence. So this is where we can type our prompt in. The prompting gets even more interesting though with this filter option here, which can apply some additional keywords to your prompt, such as cinematic dimensions, futuristic illumination, photorealism, cinematic, which I cold in parentheses, don't know what that means. Cute low poly 3D, I have a feeling a lot of you guys are gonna like that one. Photorealistic, again, I don't know why there's two photorealistics here. Again, this is like, seems like an early website. It's not really ready for like a full crazy release or anything like that. Yellow fog, moody impressions, portrait, hypersonic. So yeah, those are the filters we can apply and we're definitely gonna be messing around with that. Let's just try a base lemon here to really get an idea of what we are dealing with. Okay, so we'll just try this base prompt. Over here on the other side, we have this model option. Different AI models can produce different or better results. Right now, we have Stable Diffusion and Dolly 2 that we have access to. Dolly 2 is obviously the most interesting of the bunch. Stable Diffusion's on quite a lot of websites at this point because it is, in fact, you know, open source software. We've also got image dimensions here with Stable Diffusion, so we can crank this up to Wow, very, very high. That's a high resolution for Stable Diffusion, but that's that's very interesting. Obviously, guidance. These are the typical settings that you'd see on a Stable Diffusion website or the, even the main Stable Diffusion site that's made by Stability AI. We've also got steps going all the way up to 150, which is nice to see, and seed. And finally, keep images private. Images will only be visible to you until you're ready to share them. But let's just try out Dolly 2 for the moment. Our prompt is down here and it's only gonna generate one image per for us. As you can see, that is most definitely a very nice generation, and I no doubt believe that this is actually calling to the Dolly 2 API. The question is, you know, a lot of people are discussing this in my Discord, are they accessing somehow Dolly 2 in a way that they shouldn't? You know, are they actually directly working with OpenAI or not? My, you know, personal belief is that they, they definitely are working directly with OpenAI, but, you know, it is completely free. All you need to do is make an account. There's no credit system at the moment. I think they're going to implement something like this because, I mean, how are they going to afford to just run Dolly 2 for everybody, you know what I'm saying, and pay for that API access? Either way, it's going to cost money for them, but we also have some really interesting options that you really don't see on a lot of websites. We've got Upscale by two times which is really great to see. And we've also got face restoration. If you get crappy garbage looking faces, it's really nice. You know, before we'd have to automatically restore faces with separate websites, but it is built right into Playground AI. And of course, you know, we can either trash this image if we don't like it, or we can download it directly. Let's give the upscaling feature a quick try here. And it just sort of seems to automatically be upscaling it pretty quickly as well, which is nice. I don't know what model they're using, but you know, we can assume it's some open source AI upscaler. And I like pretty much all of the AI upscalers. I think they all do a fantastic job. And here we go. This is our final upscaled image. I know you guys probably can't tell. So we'll download this real quick. And if we zoom in, we can start to see, yeah, that's definitely a higher resolution image than we originally had with that original Dolly 2 generation. We can really zoom in here and there's quite a lot of detail for sure. And it seems to upscale it really well, although this is a pretty simple little image to upscale indeed. Let's go ahead now and try some of these different preset filters. Again, this is something I really haven't seen any other AI generation mess with that much. There's different websites that will try to apply these filters for you, but they really don't have built-in generation. Most of them is just a filter website. Let's go for this photorealistic option here and generate it. Oh, wow, we can actually stack generations, which is interesting. So I can just keep clicking this generate button and we'll keep making new images. That's that's could be very abused. Anyways, when we click this photorealistic button, as you can see, it completely modifies the prompt, adds this Nikon camera in there, a focal length of 50 millimeters, and yeah, it definitely gave us a photorealistic generation. So the filters are working, but they're just really adding words onto your prompt at the end of the day. But let's try that again. Apparently we could just stack prompts. Let's try cute low poly 3D. If I just click this like three times, oh yeah, it just starts to generate three images. 
I have a feeling some of you are going to go on this website and try to spam it. Just please don't do that, guys. You, I could, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, interesting. So it seems to just be doing the same thing. 3D render of a scarlet dragon. Does this do the same thing? Yeah, interesting. Okay, so these filters are adding like dragon into the prompt, which is very strange. But yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely producing a different results than you normally would receive. Let's give the stable diffusion variant a shot here. Let's try this massive stable diffusion resolution and we'll just do like, oh, please reduce the width or height so the image is below a million pixels. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll reduce the height to like 1024. Is that enough? Nope, that's still too big. Okay, so the resolution can get crazy big, but that's just in case you want to make like murals like this, for example. Let's make a few murals with this prompt. Why not? Okay, interesting. It is, yeah, it's coming out. That's kind of cool. Very interesting website. You can make like these giant stretched mural, mural images. I like that though. I like this. I like what they're doing here with the site. It's different. It's definitely different. Definitely actually trying to build really good image generation into this. You know, there's no inpainting or outpainting or anything like that, but... Everything else is pretty robust so far. Actually, they do have image to image built in here for stable diffusion. That's important to mention. A lot of people do like that feature. 3D render, chibi style, lemon mowing the lawn. Let's see. Can we just keep spamming the generate button here? Okay. So how many times can I just click this generate button? There's got to be a cap, right? Oh, geez. There really does not seem to be much of a cap at all. Oh, man. You could really overload this. Don't do this, guys. Don't overload them. That this could be bad. Well, it's definitely working though. Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting all of these chibi lemon creatures mowing lawns. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Yeah, some of these are really nice. Like that one's nice. I really like that. Let's try upscaling this one by two times. Okay, so can we notice a difference in this generation? Wow, yeah, this, this upscaler they're using ain't half bad. Definitely getting a lot of nice high detail. These images, it's sharpening up corners. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of detail in this image to begin with, but we're definitely getting some nice texture here on the lemon and all of the edges are nice and sharp. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be a limit on how many generations you can just spam. So you guys are going to have to be careful with this. I, I'm putting my full faith and trust in you viewers at home for telling you about this because you could you could do some damage here. Lots of really nice generations though, honestly, of course with Dolly 2. Dolly 2 is a great model. It gets a lot of flack for its price, but infinite generations on this website. So be, be, be careful, okay folks? Be careful, that's what I'm gonna say. I am putting my trust in you and I'm not being a joke, okay? I'm not joking about that. Let's try it in stable diffusion. Let's get something cool, increase the width here. This is a really easy website to generate with. Where do they put these generations? Are they up at the top? Yes, they are. Cool. I like how you can just create generations, though. That's really nice. Oh, if this could remain free, it would just be fantastic for people who want to be creative with this stuff because you can just keep generating. Anyways, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this website. This is kind of like a holy grail kind of situation here with just free stable diffusion that's easy to use, free Dolly 2 that's easy to use and nice UI and, you know, a little bit of a social media aspect thrown in and sprinkled on the top. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. I thought I would mention this one to you guys and show you it. Obviously, you can do a lot of generating in here. You can just kind of keep spamming that generate button. Please be careful with that. Please do not be crazy and go hog wild. You know, there is, they don't seem like they're ready to go crazy public or crazy big with their website as of late. It just seems to be like a little beta alpha type of deal. So it seems really promising thus far though. And I do like this website. And I can't say I won't be generating with it in the future. And let me know what you guys think about the new setup here. I'm probably going to continue to mess around with it, improve it a little bit further. The whole webcam situation, you know, when I do my normal talking when, where you can see the main screen, I'm going to try to modify a little bit to improve it a little bit better, maybe have it more zoomed in on my face, something like that. We'll see what I can do. But I like this, you know, little couch setting. I think it's a little bit more comfy and cozy and provides a better experience for you as the viewer. And I think it makes me a little bit more creative. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out some of my other ones. Lots of exciting stuff happening in the AI space. I'm sure all of you know. Check out the Discord for the latest and greatest of AI. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.